Hello, I'm Sean from BookSource, the company that created BookSource Classroom. I'll be your guide through a series of videos to help you better understand BookSource Classroom and its many features. And today we're going to talk about just an overview of how you can use BookSource Classroom to inventory your books. We know that this is a pretty big deal. You want to track all your books and you want to know where they're located all the time. You want to know who has them. Well, BookSource Classroom can help you there. And it all starts even on this dashboard. So on the dashboard you can see inventory here. I have 787 books in my library but I have 855 copies, so I have multiple copies of some books, and I have six students, so I can see here everything. Um, I can also go ahead and I can look at Library Lens, which we have a video about, which will show you uh, how your library breaks down as far as diversity, reading level, um, it will recommend to replace damaged books, all sorts of things that will help you keep track of what you have and what it all means. But at the heart of inventory, it comes down to this library page, so let me click on that. And on the library page, it's going to show every book in my classroom. Now, this is a, a very powerful page. You can do lots of things here. You can see I have 16 pages, but I can also choose to show 100 books per page if I want. Um, this is visually sorted right now, and it's by title. I can also sort by author, genre, location, date added, copies, rating, and popularity. I can tell you popularity is a cool one because you can actually do popularity descending, and it will show you what the most popular books are in your classroom. Or if you do ascending, it will show you um, the least popular books in your classroom. And that might help you in culling some books or putting them on a different shelf for a while and maybe um, cycling in some new books. So there are a lot of things that you can learn here. You can look by location, all sorts of different options. You can import your books in two different ways. You can do it by an Excel import. And if you do this, we have a template that you download. You just copy all of your information from whatever uh, system you already have now and copy it into that template. Upload the template, we will automatically check for any um, bad ISBNs or whatever, and you can actually change those on the screen. You don't have to go back and redo the whole thing. And then you upload it. And you can say that you want to either update the information in the system or you want to just add new information to the system. So um, it's a really cool way and a really fast way to actually add things in. Now the other option to import is from an invoice. This is by far the easiest way, is a book source invoice. If you didn't know, uh, here at BookSource, we sell books. We've been selling books for over 45 years to educators. We we specialize in this. And so we hi we highly recommend that you, of course, use BookSource to um, procure the books for your classroom. But um, if you do, there's a few different ways that you can get your account number. We actually show you here. You can blow these pictures up and see in detail where that's at. And then you can actually input that account number. After you do that, it's actually going to show you all of the orders that that account has had. And you can click on each order and see all the books that are in there. You can check which ones you want to import. You can import all of them. All sorts of different options, and you can actually use that to get all the books in your library. Now, the cool thing about using the invoice import is that since you're buying from BookSource, you know that all your books are BookSource verified. So I have an, a, a video that we've created, and it's about what BookSource verified means. But in short, if it has this little logo, it means that when that book was added, we matched it to our system. And our collection development literacy experts have already vetted that book. We made sure all the information was right. We made sure we had the cover image, all sorts of stuff. And so any book purchased from BookSource is going to be BookSource verified. And so what that's going to do is whenever you add it, again, it's going to automatically pull all that information. Let's go ahead and click on this book. And we'll show you. Here's the details. And again, BookSource Classroom will manage all the details for you. Um, and all this information, the, the published date, the page count, all of this, it came automatically over. We also imported all these book source subjects over with it. And we have all the leveling information. And in case you haven't seen it, BookSource has a reading level chart that you can access right here. And it's going to kind of give you the equivalencies of all these different leveling systems. So you can also use this reading level chart to help make sense of things. So back to the detail page, though. All this information, like I said, automatically came over, but I can also edit it at any time. So. If I'm on my library page, what else can I do to add books? Well, it's pretty simple. You can also click Add, and then you can either type in an ISBN. Let me do that right now. All right, cool. Just added a book. Uh, if it's a book that BookSource doesn't recognize, like if we don't recognize that ISBN because we haven't edited it, it will show up a lot like this. It'll just say um, Unknown Title. But you can also click that if and just leave this blank if you want to add a book that doesn't have an ISBN, or maybe you're tracking something that's not even a book. You can set a location for all your books, a physical location, or um, maybe a sticker that those books have. Anything you want if, in case you're adding in bulk. And if you're using a USB scanner, this is super simple. The other option, though, is to use uh, your device's camera. And that could be, on mine, it's a laptop camera because I'm, I'm on a laptop right now. But 
if you're on your mobile phone or you're on a tablet, you can also use those cameras as well. So let me try scanning with a camera. All right, that's all there is to it. And I just added that book in, and you can see that that book, this book source verified here, and it has all the information automatically. It's already been added in. And now here's the other cool thing about inventory with BookSource Classroom. We add this thing called a tracking ID. And we recommend you use that to identify your copies. So what the tracking ID is, is it's a completely unique number across our entire system. There's not a single other book in our system that uses this number. And so if you find a book, like in a hallway, and you don't know where it's going to go to, you if you have the tracking ID on the book, you can easily find exactly which account that book belongs to. And so you can get them right back to the right teachers in the right classrooms. Now, if you're already coming from another system and you already have a different uh, way of tracking uh, book IDs or book copies, you can also uh, overwrite the custom ID, which is by default the same as this, and you can put in whatever you want there too. So we also let you manage condition optionally. Um, in this case, I am managing conditions. You can add as many conditions as you want, and we have a video about that. So right now I just have, um, well, these four, and so <laughs> none is an option. But uh, you can add as many as you want, and a lot of times people will add, you know, uh, pages torn or whatever, and we will actually use that information to predict which books you need to replace in your library, and there's a report for that on the dashboard. There's a video about that too. So location's the other option. I have been A, I have ES2 and ES3, but you can add in as many locations as you want. In fact, let me go over to settings and just kind of show you how that works. If I go to settings here, I can go to custom fields. Again, there's a video about this. I can add as many conditions as I want. I can add as many locations as I want, and I can add as many genres as I want. We have a video about how genres differ from books or subjects, so I would recommend looking at that too. But all this custom information you can add to help manage your library and help inventory your library. Um, you can also see exactly where books are at in the process of being returned. So if I go to checkouts and returns here, I can see which books I have that are checked out, and then I can see which books are actually uh, in a quarantine level. This is an optional feature. And so I have books that are physically being quarantined for the safety of my students, and once this five days runs out, which you can set to whatever you want, um, it will go and need to put back, and then I can print this list. And whenever I print that list, I can actually take that with me and go put those books back on the shelf, mark them as put back, and there we go. They're back on the shelf, and students can now access them again. So all sorts of different options for inventory in your library there. Now, the other thing I wanted to show is searching. You got all these books, how are you going to find the right one? Well, we give you lots of different ways. So you can search for certain phrases. Um, you can search in certain areas of the book's information. So if you only want to search title, you would just undo these, and then you just search the title. That's all you got to do. Um, in addition, let's say if I search uh, citizen. Let's try this out. Okay, four books came back. Uh, let's do this. Oh, I can see that I got two that match for title, one for author, one for annotation. So I could actually narrow that down and find just the one that was the annotation match. There we go. I found it. Now you can also search fiction, non genre, location. You can search page count ranges, word count ranges, leveling. But for inventory purposes, it's also important that you look for missing data. So if I want to find all the books that are missing cover images, I can also do that. So let me go ahead and clear everything, and then I'm going to look for books that are missing a cover image. All right, I found this one book. It's missing a cover image. I can click on that book. I can add the image to it, and I can keep track of my library just like that. That's all there is to it. So these are all the different ways that you have to actually manage your library here in BookSource Classroom. It's a really powerful inventory tool. You can also export to Excel if you want and get a full list of all these titles in case you're doing like a year-end inventory or something. Lots of different options. Um, there's also lots of different options for adding books, and I would recommend you go check out our video that we have about adding books in particular, and uh, that'll give you some good ideas of how to actually get all your books in here the first time in case you do have to scan them. So thank you for taking the time to learn more about BookSource Classroom, and be sure to check out the other helpful videos we have in this channel.